I would like to take some time here to introduce you to a new interactive technology program called Go Solve Word Problems. Go Solve Word Problems is designed to help your students become expert problem solvers. And uh, the program, as you can see from the title, the first word Go, the Go stands for graphic organizers. So we're going to use graphic organizers to understand and solve word problems. Okay, so before we take a look at the program, let's take a look at the actual challenge that we're facing. So what exactly do we expect from our students when it comes to solving word problems? To get us started in thinking about this, let's take a look at a few uh, sample test items. This is from the New Jersey Ask exam. Jose had 25 baseball cards. His mother gave him some more cards. He now has 40 baseball cards. Which number sentence could you use to find how many baseball cards his mother gave him? So what is this program, what is this problem focusing on? To computation, the addition. the addition, and really focusing on the understanding by looking at the number sentence. Okay, here's a New Jersey Ask fourth grade item. Emma wants to practice playing her violin for a total of 90 minutes over four days. She practiced for her violin for 30 minutes on Monday, 18 minutes on Tuesday, and 25 minutes on Wednesday. How many minutes should Emma practice on Thursday? And of course, here you have the dreaded show your work. And not only that, it's not even a multiple choice question. This is, a, this is fourth grade. You can see that we're operating at a fairly high level here. Here's an eighth grade FCAT item. Diane is completing a chart showing the body lengths of three different mammals. You got the duck-billed platypus, the ocelot, and the spiny anteater, okay? The ratio of the length of the duck-billed platypus to the length of the spiny anteater is five to six. What number should Diane use to replace the question mark in the chart? So when we look at word problems like this, it's really not hard to understand why our students struggle. One reason is actually word problems are very challenging. And one reason they're so challenging is that we're asking our students to do a lot and we often don't have the opportunity to break it down into the steps or the components. Okay? So we're going to take a look at this. If it seems above them, and they don't have a strategy, they just, they just shut down, right? To be able to, to know which information you need, you have to really understand what the problem is asking first. So um, that's, that's good to know. And um, that is one of the nasty things they do. They throw in those distractors. And then also, they also will typically on these exams, they'll give you three or four plausible answers to the problem. So if you're really just glancing at the question and, and glancing for an answer, you could come up with one that's plausible but not correct. Um, so here's an example. This is a fourth grade NAEP item. Uh, and this is also to try and help us break down that question of why did students struggle. So a club needs to sell 625 tickets. If it has already sold 184 tickets to adults and 80 tickets to children, how many more does it need to sell? Now given this question, what do you think was the most common response? 44% of children answered this correctly. So more than half answered it wrong. What did those that answered it wrong answer? 66% of those that answered it incorrectly picked 809. Why would they pick that? They added those two together. They added the first two together. So actually it was only a plausible answer if they really were just looking at numbers, they would have added all three. But probably one of the items wasn't 889. So because they really, because they had no idea what the answer is, they, they, they stuck to this. Also because this is a two-step word problem. To solve this problem, you have to do two things. You have to first add up 184 and 80, and you have to subtract that from 625. So if you don't have a sense of what this mathematical situation is and the information that's being presented, you're just going to guess, and you're going to choose a plausible answer. Unfortunately, that is what a lot of our students are doing. 